project for today is uh, for Mad Saugert. Gets around Shabbat, moves around another. Oh, what a stop! Saugert! Of the Ottawa Senators. And I've already got uh, a little bit of the, the side done, the logo on top's done. That's all covered up. Um, just masked off a bit of the white and the jersey I did. And uh, now I'm going to start detailing this fun little dog. The Great Dane dog. And I've already got a bit of the back plate done. Well, the back plate is done, sorry. And uh, yeah, gonna do some of the details on this mask. Um, I'll probably do some time lapses and we'll uh, probably check in when we got a bit more done on this one. It's gonna be a fun one. the finished cartoon guy on the one side so all I got to do next is just put uh, some of this uh, FBS tape over it razor blade around it mask it off and then I'll put in uh, my lines that uh, you see in the design and the background stuff um, yeah but I'm gonna go do the other other dog on the other side he's like a <clears throat> A number one fan with the Senators kind of Spartan helmet on top with the puck in his mouth. It's a little cool continuation of this happy Great Dane dog. the guy giving the number one finger up there with his senator's centurion helmet on and eating that buck that guy was fun so now that's both the cartoon guys taken care of they're the most um they're the most detailed and they take uh they take the most time to do um on these type of paint jobs so uh, now I'm just going to mask that guy off and start putting in all the background and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it should start coming together pretty quick now. So here is the finished product of Mad Saugard's uh, Ottawa Senators mask. So um, how this kind of project came to being was um, just Mad's found me... Uh, on social media and reached out. Um, I think I've uh, I've been for a few guys in the organization now, so I think that's probably how he took notice to um, my work. And uh, yeah, we got a hold of uh, each other and had a good chat. And um, yeah, he uh, he kind of uh, kept it pretty loose. He um, he had uh, he's had a few kind of cartoon dogs on his previous mask. Um, he likes to. Uh, Kind of play off of his um, nickname. They call him the Great Dane. So uh, he's from Denmark and uh, he's really tall. So I think that's kind of the nickname of the Great Dane. Um, so he uh, he mentioned kind of that cartoony idea. He really likes that cartoony style, which, uh, you know, some of my work is known for. I think that's probably, um, you know, he's seen uh, Freddie Anderson's mask that I did that was cartoony. Um, and he's uh, a fellow Denmark uh, goalie as well. And, uh, you know, Jari's mask and stuff like that. So um, that was pretty much it. He just said he liked kind of a clean look, logo on top, cartoon stuff on the side, and just let me run with it. So um, I just kind of looked at a few of his other masks and seen what kind of cartoony stuff he's had previous. And I never saw kind of a, a fun looking goalie. So um, I just made him this happy looking Great Dane 
cartoon guy catching a puck in his glove, all the old school looking um, gear, which is fun to put on cartoon characters. And you know, the mask flying off the old school uh, mask. So just kind of came up with a nice fun um, design with characters, sent it to him and he was stoked and let me run with it. So we went with it. Uh, the little sneak in he wanted is still the Belleville. Um, I think he's kind of up and down right now with Belleville Senators and the Ottawa Senators. So he still wanted the um, Belleville logos for his uh, AHL team. I think he spent some time there. He definitely uh, wanted to show um, the love to that team as well. Just a nice clean logo on his chin. And uh, and then on the other side, I, uh, I didn't want to do another uh, version of the, the hockey guy. I wanted to do... Um, you know, like kind of a fan, like he's enjoying the puck that he uh, caught and uh, chewing on it like a dog would, some slobber coming out, uh, given the number one kind of uh, sign for the team. And he's got the Centurion kind of helmet on the top. So uh, yeah, really, really fun. And I snuck in their patch logo on there. Just, just a nice kind of look. This guy's kind of leaning on the line. I like to do that sometimes just to kind of bring the, the character and characters looking like they're more part of the design and this guy's you know taking up the full side so that was kind of the difference on either side but I think it worked really well and then just a nice clean top logo head down look and I got those little kind of uh, wreath things from their wreaths on the logo it looks it's a nice little kind of complement to the lines and then on the back, just um, some personal stuff. Uh, you know, his his home flag and Canada flag. I think he spent a lot of time here. Um, he used to play with the Medicine Tigers as well. So, and then this was, um, I think, an old team logo that he wanted to sneak on there as well. So just pretty much nice and clean with uh, the fun cartoon characters on the side. There's the other Belleville logo that I was talking about previously. But yeah, nice and clean and um, just uh, always the fun cartoon style which I always like to do I think masks should be fun um, I think they should be uh, for kids for adults just to get a nice smile uh, it's uh, it's a fun thing we get to do so I think we might as well have fun with it and I like goalies that want to do the fun cartoony stuff I think it's um, very fitting for uh, for this style of art yeah so really excited to work with Mads and um, yeah looking forward to seeing this uh, on them with the Senators. Thanks guys. So I'm gonna show off a video um, I did for Anton Forsberg for the Senators. Um, I didn't do it in the same video form that this all is, uh, you know, sideways for YouTube. Uh, I did it before I was doing these videos, but it's, it's a really cool video and it was a cool mask. So I figured I'd put it on here so you guys can check it out if you like. So had the pleasure to uh, work with Anton Forsberg again. Um, was really stoked to hear from him again. Uh, I did his last year's mask for Ottawa. Um, and he started out, um, didn't have a ton of ideas, kind of wanted to uh, toss a few ideas around with me. He, um, he asked me what I would be into and I usually kind of kick back and go, uh, what, what are you into and kind of, you know, throw out some pop culture stuff that he might like, uh, just interests. And uh, one of the things on the list was um, the Dark Knight uh, Batman uh, series was one of his favorite couple movies. So um, that was, I grabbed that right away and ran with it. <laughs> that was gonna be really cool imagery for sure. So um, where we went from there, uh, he kind of just let me run with it after that. Um, so the first rendition I did was, uh, had this side, which I was really stoked to um, kind of create this side with the Joker and definitely wanted the Joker in there and he asked for Bane too. Um, the two bad guys uh, that he likes in the, in the movies and they're just really visually like killer uh, images to kind of show off and uh, a lot of good reference and you know, iconic looking uh, characters, bad, bad guy characters. So that was really cool. He was really stoked on that side. And then when I did the first rendition, um, we actually had Christian Bale's character on this side, um, just with kind of up close face of his and a bit of an action scene in the background. And it was really cool, but it had, uh, you know, a very serious kind of Batman look to it. Um, and then on the first rendition I had, 
a little Batman dog that he he likes to get his dog on the on the designs. Um, so I'm like, well, we should incorporate a little bit of the dog. So I did a funny version of um, of the Batman dog on the back, and he liked that so much that he was like, oh, I think that could be uh, a good focal for the side, just to tie in more of his dog on the mask. And I I thought it was really cool. Kind of kind of lightened up the mask, made it a bit more fun. Um, you know, breaks up the side of of cartoony fun and more kind of realistic serious and um that's why i threw in the uh i i said we should throw in the why so serious uh, along the top just because it um it adds more fun and it's just you know it's still batman theme but it has his dog being the 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 masked uh dark knight so um i think it kind of just uh, represented him a bit more and just have fun masks are meant to be fun um, so I, uh, I was really stoked to kind of tie those two, two styles together and I think it, uh, it worked really well. I really like the, the color combo. We kind of copied a little bit of the look of his last year's mask, just changed uh, the logos, different colors, but we kind of kept it almost like it's uh, the white version of um, the next series of masks we painted. So, and uh, yeah, just added the gold cage that he likes to wear and um, just a couple background bats flying for uh, Kind of background up close look and the bat symbol shooting off summoning his his bat pop and then a really nice clean logo on top of course that i like to do um and that one uh, was pretty much kind of continuation from his last year's design as well and i snuck the ha ha ha's there for the the joker because it uh, it just kind of goes with his look but i'm uh, couldn't be happier with this design and Excited to show this off and for fans to see it. And then on the back, just personal stuff for him, just stuff for his kids, uh, pictures of his kids and a uh, hockey uh, team he used to play for uh, back in Sweden. So yeah, this was uh, another really, really fun project. So thanks Anton. It is a pleasure working with you and uh, having uh, coming up with fun designs. And yeah, really excited to see this one on the ice this year. Thanks guys. So here is another uh, fun Senators project. Um, this one's a little different. It's uh, it's actually for um, the owner of the Sens, uh, kind of a gift to him, Michael Andler, and um, it was uh, commissioned by uh, the equipment manager of the Senators. He reached out and wanted to uh, do a kind of a fun project for him. So that was um, a huge honor. So I'm stoked. I've got probably. Um, uh, maybe a little bit, like probably a day or so into it. Uh, I got one side done. We're doing a really fun kind of Senators uh, style Centurion kind of um, warriors and stuff on the, the side here. So um, I'm kind of halfway through this guy. That's what I'm kind of trying to model it after. So maybe I'll do a little um, time lapse of this one and show off some of the details. the finished part from the time lapse I added a bit more of um, some of the details some of kind of the white highlights and a little bling on the eye and uh, the senators kind of embossed logo over top uh, after the time lapse but um, yeah that's pretty cool and uh, once I uh, do the background uh, it's got a bit of a kind of a shadowed edge on it so I'll do some white to punch it out, a little bit of, little bit of gray kind of along his face to do an opposite punch off of it. Yeah, super, super cool. So we'll uh, probably catch up when this thing's all done and we'll chat about the design. So here is the finished product. And I am pretty stoked on this one. Uh, definitely kind of swung for the fences for this one and kind of wanted to um, paint some stuff that I don't necessarily always get to do, uh, kind of show off a little bit more of my range. I'm kind of known for a bit more cartoony stuff, um, not so much this kind of illustrative, realistic kind of stuff. 
which um, yeah I like painting it all I like the challenge for sure so um, how this one came to be uh, I like I kind of explained on the other videos uh, was uh, the equipment manager uh, Johnny reached out and uh, asked if I would be willing to do um, a mask uh, you know without uh, the owner Michael knowing um, so you know he has no say in this uh, it was just kind of a, a present to him uh, just for doing the organization uh, you know um, taking over the organization a bit of a gift and I think this is kind of a neat style to uh, uh, style of like a gift you know I'm, I'm, a handmade one-of-a-kind piece of art I think it's a pretty pretty cool idea so I was I was on board and pretty excited to uh, do it for him so uh, I've dealt with Johnny a few times just with a few of their goalies and he's seen my work so he kind of just asked me to dream up an idea so I um, right away just thought you know the the soldiers of the you know the I think they're you know kind of based off of um, you know that 300 movie the Spartans uh, but I didn't want to do actually from the Spartan movie because it's been overdone so I just I found some really cool just uh, uh, illustrative um, Spartan kind of warriors looking kind of like they're ready to go to battle so uh, I ran that by him and he said yeah go go to town so I sent him a design and he was stoked on it and uh, yeah it's definitely little bit different of a design not symmetrical a uh, little bit more uh, detailed uh, but still with some clean kind of uh, designs aspects in it uh, you know with the wreaths going up and I, I laid in uh, gold leaf on the on the wreath just to add one more kind of layer of um, style and just make it look a bit more regal a bit more more uh, rich um, so yeah that's pretty much uh, how we came to this part, um, yeah, just wanted this kind of, wanted the one of them to have this style sword that they have, it's like a short kind of, almost looks like a machete style sword, I wanted to get that in there, uh, with the shield fading out and then a bunch of smoke kind of coming across to tie in the two worlds, uh, you know, going from smoke to more white, I wanted a bit more white base in the bottom so it's not all red and black, kind of has all the nice uh, colors of the senators. And then just a nice clean shoulder patch logo on the chin and then this side I wanted it to be a bit more of like almost like the general right up front of the the squadron and you can see his uh, his army in the back and this guy's kind of ready ready to go to battle kind of look and I actually did a really oversized logo and just got the kind of the the wings on there which uh, I thought worked really cool too really really cool really fun one um we know johnny asked for the gold cage we got that powder coated as well and i think that looks pretty slick and the back i went kind of hard on the mask with uh, details and time wise so we kept the back back pretty uh, pretty simple just some personal stuff for him and uh, this is actually the the capital um buildings parliament yeah so that uh, that is it i'm excited uh to find out how he likes it when he gets it and um, yeah I was uh, pretty honored to uh, paint for the owner of a team I've never got to do that before so um, painted for uh, a few uh, NHL pros but when you get to do one for the owner uh, you know this guy's uh, possibly a billionaire so I've never painted for a, a guy that uh, like that I don't know what those guys like as gifts so I'm hoping uh, hoping this is something that uh, yeah, he enjoys because uh, I've I've never uh, never been in the uh, never had the possibility to uh, to do this. So I, I kind of swung for the fences fences for uh, for his mask. So I hope he really likes it. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys.